I hope you've enjoyed The Little Princess. I find it very moving. And the scene in which Ian Hunter playing her father says farewell to her is almost hard to watch. Such a beautiful movie, directed by Walter Lang. Walter Lang's forte, for the most part, was making musicals. He made some of the best Fox musicals. In fact, didn't Walter Lang direct that wonderful Coney Island with Betty Grable that I presented a few weeks back? What a movie that is. What a movie. Well, now, not all the members of the network are going to stay with us for a second movie today, but for those who do stay with us for a second movie, we have something very special indeed. This is a movie being put on at the request of many, many viewers who loved it when I presented it on the Golden Years of Hollywood last year. It's called Stars in My Crown, and it takes its title from a very famous hymn. John McRae, Ellen Drew, Dean Stockwell. Will you please note in the cast, Juan Hernandez. Some of you may remember him in Intruder in the Dust. Jacques Tourneur directed this film, and it's a very special entertainment. You will love Stars in My Crown. After you've seen it today, when people ask you what your favourite movies are, many of you will say, oh, and there's a little film I saw one Sunday afternoon called Stars in My Crown, and that's a special favourite. Now, I said I was playing some music from a very special CD. I think it might be the CD of the year. It's just been released by CBS, and I just had to show it to you today because I know you're the kind of people who love the kinds of movies I present and you will absolutely go out of your minds with this wonderful CD. Sony have just released this in Australia. That's the label, Sony, and it's from CBS Records. Music of the Night. I have had it about five days and I would have played this record about 20 times already. It is just stunning. And at the beginning of the program today, the music when I was introducing The Little Princess was from Sondheim's musical Into the Woods. And now, of course, you're hearing music of the night from the wonderful Phantom of the Opera. I love beautiful music, and one of the thrills that I get from presenting movies for you is drawing your attention to some of it, and that's why I wanted to show you that CD today. My copy, of course, came from the usual source, Ava and Susan's Records in Town Hall Square Arcade in Sydney. Well, now, next Sunday afternoon, we have another Shirley Temple film, and next Sunday afternoon, it's the underrated and most entertaining William A. Sighter picture, Susanna of the Mounties. And in Susanna of the Mounties, our Shirley is co-starred with Randolph Scott and Margaret Lockwood. And there's a very interesting supporting cast that includes J. Farrell MacDonald and Victor Jory. I think you'll really enjoy Susanna of the Mounties. It was the film she made immediately after The Little Princess. And for those members of the network who stay with us for a second movie next Sunday afternoon, our second attraction will be Carol Reed's circus drama, Trapeze with Burt Lancaster, Tony Curtis and Gina Lollabrigida. So we keep delivering the goods on Sunday afternoon. I want you to always trust me. And I'm afraid I will take, without much kindness, the remark that has been passed occasionally, oh, I didn't watch that, I didn't think I'd enjoy it. I say trust me, and I'll take you adventuring through some of the most extraordinary movies ever made, and some that you will love forever. It's good afternoon to some members of the network and to those who remain, do stay with us now for the beautiful film, Stars in My Crown. This program was proudly brought to you by Soft Kleenex Boutique Tissues. This program is proudly brought to you by Allen's Butter Menthol and soft Kleenex Boutique Tissues. I'm glad you stayed with me. I think you'll adore Stars in My Crown. The title comes from a very well-known hymn. Well, maybe not well-known to everyone, but it's a beautiful hymn, and I must say I'm very grateful to those viewers who sent me copies of it when I asked a few questions about it when I presented it on the Golden Years of Hollywood last year. Stars in My Crown was one of the most written and talked about movies that I presented last year, and I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present it on a Sunday afternoon. May I say also at this point, thank you so much for all the correspondence I've received not only care of Channel 10, but also care of Woman's Day, saying how much you've all loved Sunday afternoon's movies on the whole network. We do appreciate your enthusiasm and your support very much. Stars in My Crown has a good cast. It comes from a novel by Joe David Brown. 
and was written for the screen by Margaret Fitz. Beautiful script, it really is. And the film has many qualities visually and dramatically and in its dialogue that make it such a special experience. Many of you will not be satisfied with a viewing today. You'll want to see this one again and again. You want to keep it because it'll mean a lot to you. The way, say, friendly persuasion means a lot to you. All right, having said that, let's take a look at the people of Stars in My Crown. We begin with Joel McRae. Actually, this is not quite typical of the character he plays in the film, but it's a good idea, beautifully directed by Jacques Tourneur in the film. Now, here is Joel McRae with Ellen Drew, who plays his wife in the film. It's a lovely performance from her. Poor Ellen Drew never got very many parts on the screen that were worthy of her, that would have made her a major star. I like her in this film so much. She and Joel McRae are just so delightful together. And here's a third member of the little family, John, played by Dean Stockwell. It's John who tells the story with the voice, incidentally, of Marshall Thompson. You'll like Dean Stockwell. Incidentally, I'm so pleased to see Dean Stockwell playing a lot of leading roles in movies recently. Not all the movies are good, but at least he's getting leading roles in them. Now, some of the other people of Stars in My Crown. Well, at this stage, just Joel McCrae and Dean Stockwell again, I wanted to communicate using this lovely black and white photograph something of the, the rural quality this film has. It's a long way, so it seems, from the Culver City Studios that were once the home of MGM and now the home of nothing in particular. Yes, this film has so much for you. I think you're going to love every minute. The music, incidentally, was composed by Adolf Deutsch. I think Adolf Deutsch did the music for the Maltese Falcon, if memory serves me correctly. Now, some of the other characters of Stars in My Crown. James Mitchell, interesting actor. He was a dancer, and I remember vividly his dancing with Sid Charisse in the Desert Song sequence of the MGM musical Deep in My Heart. Wow. A brilliant dance, one of the most exciting things she ever did in all the years she was at MGM, and he was the partner for that sequence. He also appears in the bandwagon with Sid Charisse, too. In our next shot, we have the young actress who plays the love of his life in the film, and that's Amanda Blake. Yes, the same Amanda Blake who was so popular in Gunsmoke with James Arness. But I show you this picture particularly. You know, you get a tight shot of the two of them together, and you move out, and you see that it's only a partial set. It's not even a a room, really, and there, sitting there in that comfortable chair is the director of this film, Jacques Tourneur. We took him for granted in the 40s and 50s, now we think he's one of the best of that rather exciting period. A few other people of consequence. Do you remember the film Intruder in the Dust, one of the best films I've ever presented on television? Juano Hernandez is one of the four stars of Intruder in the Dust. There he is there, and he has an interesting part to play in this film, which you will remember, Uncle Famous. I say no more. Our next shot shows someone who became much loved in the last few years when I played the Andy Hardy films, which I'll be returning to 10 eventually. Yes, it's Lewis Stone who plays in the film, the father of James Mitchell. And finally, a few people to watch out for. John Smith there. Behind John Smith, you can't see him, but that's James Arness, would you believe? Yes, the James Arness. Alan Hale and Connie Gilchrist, all seen here with James Mitchell. Well, there you are, some wonderful people in a wonderful movie. I think you'll take this one straight to your heart and love it very much indeed.